Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. I did nothing wrong. Literally, I did nothing wrong. So please leave me alone. This is extremely unfair of you guys to do this to me. Yeah, right. Karen's never do anything wrong. Really? So this is an update on this Karen who went ballistic on McDonald's employee for adding extra ketchup on her burger, even though she was the one that asked for extra. For those of you that might not remember what happened at the time, check this out. Eventually, Karen comes out with a video taking zero responsibilities for her actions. Take a look at this. So I wanted to come out and publicly let everyone know that that was me in the video. After this video was published on TikTok, it went viral and news organizations wrote about me. And I honestly have no idea. I am simply baffled that this is possible. People found out where I work and they sent the video to my employer. I was then fired from my job. That's right. I was fired, which I find to be extremely unfair because all I was doing was going to get my weekly cheat meal and it was the McDonald's employees that did not follow the simple directions that I asked for. So I felt that I had the right to come in and let them know that my burger was not made correctly. I did nothing wrong. Literally, I did nothing wrong. So please leave me alone. This is extremely unfair of you guys to do this to me. Thank you. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Y'all won't believe this. So apparently, this lady lied about getting fired from her job. She lives in the van and interviews people for a living. She was never fired from any job. All that drama that she displayed at the McDonald's restaurant, disrespecting those employees, was all for cloud. She wanted to be relevant on social media. Can you believe this? That's a shame, Karen. You can leave for swearing. You can let You gotta serve me. You can let swore. You can leave. You gotta serve me. Not for swearing. You're not serving me so because... You can, so you can swear at us. So a customer at McDonald's restaurant got so angry because he was refused service for using foul language and also refusing to provide documentations for his service dog. Take a look at this. It's a service dog. So you're not servicing me because I have a service dog? We're asking you, we're asking yeah, you for license? I don't have to have the paperwork. As long as I tell you it's a service dog, as you got to serve me. As long as you show your uh, let me room? see your Let me see your rules. It's a service dog. You now serve me swearing. the room. What happened? What? You can leave for swearing. You can let You got to serve me. You can let swore. You can leave. You got to serve me. Not for swearing. You're not serving me so because you can, so you can swear at us. You gonna serve me my food or what? Are you gonna? You just swore. You gonna serve me my food or what? Because you don't. You got a video. Yeah, you can do oh, yeah? a video. No problem. Yeah. No problem. You're not gonna serve me because I have a service dog. Yeah. 
Not for Can I not do the video? Okay. Okay. You're not gonna serve me, right? Not for swearing. Because I have a dog. But you can swear at us, so that makes it okay? You, I have it. First of all, I have a dog. Yeah. It's a service dog. Okay. And you're not, you're refusing to serve me. And then you were swearing. What are you talking about? You, why don't you I have a service dog. And then you swore. And then, then you because you deny me food because I have so a you, service so that dog. So makes it all right to serve. No, don't, Jim, no. Said, uh, Jim huh? said don't serve him anything without the... Uh, okay. Yeah. You're going to file a complaint. You guys gonna be famous. Although it's illegal for a business to refuse to provide service to a customer who refused to show them documentations for the service animal. In this instance though, do you think the customer was refused service because he was swearing or because he refused to provide documentation for his service dog? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I need my money back. I need my money back. I didn't accept your order. I didn't touch it. No, nothing. I need my money back. You guys tried to give me a little scoop of bacon after $10. It's not going to work. I need my money back. A customer at a crepe shop was upset that the manager who was making her food wanted to give her a small cup of bacon. So she decided to cancel her order and requested for a refund. But guess what? The manager called security on her. Take a look. Yeah. How about this? I'll cancel and just get my money back. Excuse me. Cause they tried to give me a little cup of bacon and I'm not doing that y'all. Look at this. Let's, let's be for real. Girl, give me my money back. Thank you. If you need to do security, that's fine. She's calling security because I would like my money back. Because they already made it. And this is what they do. They feel like they need to call the police and our security on you when you're right in your sense. They tried to give me no bacon being ridiculous. Yes, it's tea and milk, but then it's fine. That's fine. Here at the crap shop. I need my money back. I need my money back. I didn't accept your order. I didn't touch it. No, nothing. I need my money back. You guys tried to give me a little scoop of bacon after $10. It's not going to work. I need my money back. And then she tried to call security on me, which is what they do to black people. So I'm definitely recording this. So I'm definitely going viral as we speak. I just need my money back. And if you don't want to give me my money back, that's okay. Chase will. But I just want to confirm this with you right now. Okay, well, I'm just an employee here. I, I get that. I understand that. Exactly. So is that, would that be your manager? Yes. Okay, awesome. And you're deciding not to give me my money back, correct? You decided to call security, correct? Exactly. Okay, cool. We, we can wait for security. I'm okay with that. Look at him. She thought that she was doing something with calling security. But I'm not irate. I haven't argued. I haven't cursed them out. Anything of that nature. I'm just sitting here really calmly. But she wants me to be an angry black woman so bad. So that's why she decided to call security. Because she wants me to be an angry black woman. But when I'm making perfect sense, it doesn't make any sense. You think I'm trying to cause a problem, but I'm sitting here talking kindly to you. I asked you for my refund. I also explained that if you don't give me my refund, then it's going to be a charge back on your company, corporate. And you know, Okay, it's cool. Thank you. Handle that. Thank you. Pure point blank. You thought that you had one. She thought that she could call the security on a black woman. But because I'm a calm black woman, I'm not irate. At this point, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, I gave my money back. 
She she thought. She thought, y'all. She sincerely thought. <laughs> Bro, she's so pissed. She's so pissed that she gotta give my money back. She's so pissed. Bro, guess how much it is, y'all? Ten dollars. Guess how much it is? Ten dollars. So you said don't come back, right? No. Correct? Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. But you said don't come back, so I won't come back. That's no problem. But also, let me get a card. I'm a I'm asking for a card. They don't have a card. They don't have a card. No, nothing. Wow. Am I the only one that thinks that the customer's voice is so soothing? Also, all that drama, all that shenanigans, just for ten dollars order. Now that is crazy, but I'm so glad that the customer did not act out. She was so calm and she handled the situation so good. You have a gun on your hip. It you, is right? completely legal for you to carry that gun the way you are. It can be seen yes. from all three sides. Yes. Perfectly fine, yes. perfectly legal. Okay. So what's yes. the problem with you? The problem is you're climbing on a cop car. This ignorant and unhinged Karen who refused to mind her own business, got mad and calls the cops on a couple of guys because they were allegedly drinking and vandalizing a cop's car. Take a look at this shenanigans. I'm assuming that you're drinking alcohol. You have a bottle right here. Hey, you can I'm assume, assume you're making a call. No, you that's not assumption. He does have a gun. He does have a gun. But you're making an assumption on this one. Okay, you're, you're, you're assuming, assuming something. You're dangerous to my gun because there's a difference you're between telling them. The there's a difference between telling them and there's a difference between acting okay. with it. It's a people's cop car. You're wandering around putting your phones up into the cop's car. Yes, which is completely allowed. It's called transparency. It's allowed. That's not allowed. It's called transparency. Yes, it is. It's a people's car. It's a people's car. You guys, you should take your phone somewhere else, really. I'm sorry you feel that way, but are you on the phone with the cops? I am. Okay. Yes, I am. You need to tell them that I'm not doing anything. Oh, they can hear you. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm not drinking. She's lying. Oh, okay. She's okay. making assumptions. It's an assumption. She's lying. She's making some drama. I just don't understand why you're not minding your business. And just go about it is my business. It's the people's car. It's my car. Right, but I mean, it's my car. What is he doing right? to it? What, what is he doing? Is he? Is he vandalizing? He's not vandalizing. So you guys think that you're not causing, you're not having, you're, you're, you're looking not, at you're everything not causing no harm. looking at you. Yeah. You think it's funny. You, you're doing do. this for we attention. Do. It's allowed. It's allowed to you're be done. Doing we're it for we're doing it because it's our right. Attention. It's a first and amendment right. Because you have attention? No, I'm upset because you're telling them that I have a gun, but you're not being But you do. It. Yeah. Right. One hundred percent. What is he doing with it? There's nothing wrong with having a gun. Right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a second amendment. That's a freedom to bear arms. I have I have a right to carry a gun. Too. Yes. Exactly. But, okay, so why are you calling the cops on him for having a gun? I'm calling the cops on both of you because you're public intoxication, drinking on the public street while you're climbing up on cops. <laughs> and you have a right to do that. I'm upset because you're not being descriptive with that. And if you wouldn't have been descriptive, being descriptive about how am I not being descriptive? I said you have a gun on your hip. It you, is right? completely legal for you to carry that gun the way you are. It can be seen yes. from all three sides. Yes. Perfectly fine. Yes. Perfectly legal. Okay, so yes. what's the problem with you? Okay, so then it's not the gun, then it's We're climbing no, on the car. But I'm letting them know right. as they come to approach two men, one drunk, one has a oh, weapon. one drunk. You're, yes. you're sure of that, yes. huh? You're positive right. of that. We're in the city of Albuquerque. Wait, you would you? Tell them I'm not doing something with a gun. They're gonna come with guns drawn, and it takes a shot opportunity to get uh, shot. That would be at any city, not, really. not just in Albuquerque. Not really. you know I imagine you guys got this. First, second, fourth. And this one's not minding her business. When I see you climbing on a cop car, I'm going to call the cops. Uh, climbing on when a I cop car. You. That's a, a when little. When get to a co worker's car, I'm going to call the co worker and let him know. <laughs> well, it's not just it's not destroy it. It's not damaging the car. You're not vandalizing it or nothing. There's, there's no scratches. There's nothing going on with the car. So I wasn't vandalizing it. But I have, I have every right to sit on the cop bumpers I want to because it's not their car. Yeah, yeah they're just, you know, checking it out. Uh, I think she it was exaggerating about climbing on it. Bullshit. You guys were filming it. So what yeah. film? Yeah, they can see it. And she's more mad now. What's your name, sir? I'm a sheriff. How are you? Good to meet you. Uh, you're Carlos. a sheriff? 
Undershirt. Undershirt. Oh, okay. Cars. I was like, damn, when did that happen? Aaron? <laughs> yeah. No, she's just more mad that we're doing, doing what we do. Okay. And she's just going to let that on my head. Okay. We're good, we're good. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Oh, damn. Karen was trying so hard to give her own two cents. But I guess it backfired based on the way she took off when she realized how dumb she looked. You're being very hostile. This is you, very inappropriate. Well, and this is typical of you. Oh, typical full, full, of me? Full of yes. What yes. am I John, doing? John, I have you on camera, dude. I have videos. you all on camera. I'm like, I'm supposed I to be scared you. or something? Do you think it's legal for a landlord to let himself and his wife into his tenant's apartment simply because the tenant is behind in his rent? Take a look at this landlord and tenant drama. You're opening my door without my permission. Cool. Yeah, I told you I'd be here yesterday, didn't I, motherfucker? And you didn't even have to be here. You hear me? You don't have to be here for me to come in here when I give you the notice. Uh, yeah, you do. Here. And I don't know why you're getting in my face. Because you don't seem to hear too well. And secondly, do you know that you're still responsible for paying the, the months, the rents from July and uh, from August and September? Obviously. Good. This is good. Fix the wall. That has to happen. You're definitely harassing me right now. You said you were going to fix the wall, didn't you? And you have not done that. Definitely harassing me right now. Yeah, whatever, asshole. You said you're going to do that. Did you fix the. Sink? Definitely harassing me right now. Yeah. What's good, John? Nothing Seems like you're you're in my space. Like, what's good? This is a very small house, Isaac. It's yeah, and you're. Why are you in my face? Because I'm trying to talk to you. You want me to talk to you from outside? You need to step back because you're in my face. I'm three right feet now. away from you. This is. You're being very hostile. No, right now. that's that's you. That's that's you. Oh no! Ugh. This is why I'm recording right now. In my because I dropped the batteries down in the goddamn phone. You heard that. Moving my couch around, messing with my house. In order to find the batteries that came out this of the phone. This is all being right? recorded. I don't give a s. Oh. Addie uh, I, and is trying to jump out the window. Well, Being the first very thing he says is that I came into his house without notifying You unlocked him. my door. What? Yes, we you, left a note on your right, door the, yesterday. You, you pulled, unlocked my you door. Pulled, you, you pulled have the, no you right pulled to the do note that. off the door saying that we would be here today, right? You have no right to do that. That's very inappropriate. I'm pretty we sure. I am pretty sure notice. that is not what a landlord's supposed not to do. Well, you you do not have. A right, you do not have a you right. You basically John, broke into my house. Persistent. You basically I, I broke it. into the, my the, house. The I will have me. August. You said the I will have oh, no, August. No. Would you shut up? No, I'm no, I will not shut up in my house John? because I'm it's trying not to. Your house. It's your, John? I am trying to tell you guys that I will have August John? month's rent John? for you today. Just I'm going to go and grab my check. I'm going to grab my to check outside. today. Okay. You're being very hostile. This is you, very inappropriate. And this is typical of you. Oh, typical full, full, full of me? Full, 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 full. Yes. What yes. am I John, doing? I have you on camera, dude. I have you all on camera. I'm like, I'm I have you scared or something? I don't care. Right, okay, if you're then, scared, you care. you're still getting yeah, in my face. Still walking towards me. We pay the maintenance for this place. And look. And look at what? And you I guys have you basically been phone. harassing yes, me. You're full of shit. Who, who? What's you your harassment for breaking this door? John, take your pictures. No, you can't. Don't argue. You just, he's, it he's, doesn't matter. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I, I am. I am threatened. Like, so you want to get so on just take the pictures. 
being very We're inappropriate. We're in the right unless you yell at him. What? We are in the right unless you yell at him. Right? I have, so just take the I have all this on camera. This is. Right, that's fine. Just take the damn pictures and can we go? Don't argue. You are making I, this worse. You're the one that's me you are making this a lot worse than what this needs to be. No, the the more you decide to do what you want to do is we gonna take long. Notice. You had a notice. Yeah, yesterday. and I understand yeah. that, but no, you still no. have no right to come into on my the house. Door and you said nothing. Therefore, I was up, I was getting up to Did answer the anything? door. I don't say... need to say anything, bro. Well, who knows that you're I do not need to say a thing to you. No. I was here too. I heard him not only knock but announce himself. And? I did. I was right there. I heard it. It doesn't matter. You don't, you don't uh, have a right. We yeah, own laugh. This property you're, 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 here, and you haven't paid rent for three months, so you know. And the the same thing list. I've been uh, telling you this, this whole time. The, garbage has the not same thing I have been Take telling you. Take the picture so we can go. The same thing I've been telling you guys this whole time. And the fact that you guys act like this and expect that, me. That we do what? Act like this. Act like this. Yeah, act like this. This is why I record you every time you come yeah. into my home. Yeah. Because John. you, th so you us, you're basically very here? threatening. You are threatening. You don't pay the rent. You break oh, really? my house. You really? break my stove. I, I, I did not break that. I told you. You didn't that. say anything when you signed. You do the not listen. You didn't say anything. You do not listen. You didn't say anything when I have explained when, everything no, to no, you. No, no, I've no, been no. very fair to you. The camera's not working so much. Then let's come back another time. This won't let us in another time. Oh, cool. that's not true. Look at yourself. I'm giving you notice right Look now at yourself. on your camera that we'll be back tomorrow to take those pictures. Right. Let's okay, go. that is fine. But right. the way right. he's acting right now is inappropriate. And you are an idiot. And I'm an idiot. Right. Look at yourself. Go take a look. A long look in the mirror, John. Right. Go at take a age, long look gonna change. in the mirror. Learn to be wise, will you? Y'all need to learn to be wise, okay? The law is on our side. John, look, get oh. out of there. Oh, oh, John. oh, oh, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. kiss my ass. Oh, and also the 30th, oh. the 30th of oh. September was the end of the period oh. that we could evict you. So oh, th that hole in the wall oh. should be fixed. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Okay. We'll look at ya, look at ya. I will be sending this to the police. Thanks, John. You did yourself some justice. Oh boy. I think John and his wife are totally wrong on this one. They messed up. They shouldn't have let themselves in with their own spare keys into the tenant's apartment. They should have at least waited a little bit to allow the tenant to let them in into the apartment. I might be wrong though. But let me know what you think about this whole shenanigans in the comment section. Finally, on this episode of Ultimate Public Entertainment and Karen shenanigans. We've got a Karen neighbor from hell. Check this out. Some weird woman came to my door and tied this. I don't know what the heck it is. It looks like human hair? My husband threw it in the trash. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. What is that, Karen? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all.